Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Lacey, Washington, where a frauditor believes he has the absolute right to go on to any school ground and film to his heart's content. But he ends up finding out otherwise when he gets trespassed from the property. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. <laughs> Wow, a street sign that says do not enter right there. Thank you for pointing out part of your own failure right there, dude. But let me show you something. Just a few feet behind where you're standing, I found a no trespassing sign on Google Maps that you should be interested in. And a few more yards away, there was another one. So maybe you should have done... Uh, a little bit better in uh, documenting everything. That way, you wouldn't have been trespassed, you freaking moron. Excuse me. Hi. Hey, I had a question for you. I'm working on something about some buses or other equipment that are supposedly like really dilapidated and kind of dangerous. Does that sound familiar at all to you? No. They, like really run down, rusty, that kind of thing. Things that, you know. They would never let us operate vehicles. You know, honestly, like I kind of just, my gut told me that, but I. Re well, well, dumbass, as somebody who's been around uh, the school board myself for quite a number of years now, I can tell you this. At, at least with my school district, they, they keep the buses very well maintained as much as they can with all the hours they put on these uh, buses. So uh, just walking up onto school property with that little issue in mind is not enough to uh, violate uh, Washington state trespassing laws or the potential of violating uh, student privacy laws, you moron. Recently got several emails basically saying that they're concerned about the kids being on buses and stuff like that. So I thought, eh, I'll look into it. I'll see. It honestly kind of sounded weird. And, you know, looking around at the nature of the buses, they <laughs> seem like they're in pretty good condition. Oh, yes. All, so. all the buses are in good condition. Our team inside with the mechanics, they are great. If there's any issues, we can go to them anytime and sure. they take care of things real quick. Cool. Okay. Well, hey, I really appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. A little longer than a few minutes later. Good. How are you doing? I'm Duran. Yeah, Steve. Steve, nice to meet you. What are you, what are you up to today? I'm uh, just working on a story, actually. Okay. Um, did you get permission to be here on property, school property? Uh, no, I came in on the gate on the other side. There wasn't any signage that said couldn't be here. Yeah, I, I think that's kind of a kind of known thing, you know, we don't want you to get hurt for your safety. Oh so. yeah, that's why I'm standing back here. Alright, so yeah, but I'm going to have to ask you if you wouldn't mind going out to the public road out there. I think that would be a little safer for your safety and for everyone else here, you know, kind of, no one knows you're here, so it's kind of stranger danger, you know, sometimes we have kids around here, so um, if you want to, you know, come and take pictures, that's totally fine, but I think we need to get you to get permission first, you know? Right. Um, so I'm going to ask you to go and step out on the main road there, if you wouldn't I, mind. I guess I'm just a little confused, like, what's... What's making this not okay to be here? So, because, like, like I said, we don't know who you are. You say your name is Steve. We have kids here all the time. You just can't walk into a school. We have kids here, too. So, I'm, again, I'm going to ask you one last time. If you don't move, I'm going to call 911. If you wouldn't mind stepping over there, please. Yeah, I mean, if you want to call the police, I just think that's I'm a... totally going to do that right now because okay. I, I don't think it's cool for you to stand here. Um, yeah, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm working on a story about supposedly some dilapidated buses that are uh, dangerous to people. Yep, so can you please just step out there for me real quick well, and I, we can again, talk about I, it? I, I, there's okay, no so, signage anywhere. Okay, can so, you point so, to some signage? So, so now I'm a school district employee and I'm trying to keep you safe. I'm trying to keep our district yeah, safe no, no, here. That's why I'm standing over so here. So again, we have kids here sometimes and so I don't know who you are. Hi, my name is Duran Bozen. Hello? Hi, I'm at 66 I'm at 6620 Carpenter Road at the bus barn. I'm here and there's a man named Steve here that is um, here on district property. He won't leave. He has a camera here. He's saying he's taking pictures of dilapidated buses. I'm at, I've asked him nicely about three or four times now to go to the main road and we can talk. Yes, I'm an employee here. I'm the supervisor. My name is Duran. Yeah. And again, I, I 
Duran, D-E-R-O-N. And his name is Steve. He has a body cam and a couple cameras here. He's on school property. I've asked him to leave a couple times because, you know, we have students here sometimes and we just can't have people that we don't know taking pictures of, of buses here without, you know, getting, getting cleared first. Which brings us to this point right here. You see, uh, Washington State School District policy reflects this uh, thing that he just said. There are only a few exceptions to where you can't film uh, in uh, a, on school property. And this is a list of those exceptions right there, dude. Uh, the bus garage is not on that list right there so you may want to rethink this or better yet at least do some research online that can get you the answers that you seek before you make yourself look like a total incompetent moron i'm okay i'm okay with him standing here but that goes above me and i've asked him a couple times and he won't leave I appreciate it. Sure, yeah. Um, he's a Caucasian male. I, he's got a mask and he's got a hat. Um, I'm bad with ages, but I'm gonna say he's about 45, 50. Damn, man, I'm 30. He's <laughs> 30, sorry about that, man. He's got glasses on, a um, mask, blue jeans. No, it's it's kind of like a it's kind of like a, a mask that you to keep your neck warm, you know, in the, the winter. It's honestly a little chilly to me. Yeah. Um, blue jeans, a green like windbreaker jacket, gray, uh, gray shoes. Well, this video is almost an hour long, so I'm just going to skip the part where the cops show up and uh, pretty much trespass them from that point on. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage, shall we? 15 minutes later. This is, you're using a presupposition to articulate that there is something that is nefarious about my desire to work on yep. this story for you. All you had to do is ask. No, that's not true. All you had to do. That's not true. My boss been out here to assistant director. This is the gentleman Steve that was on the property that I called about. I asked him to leave a couple times and he refused. Okay. Well, let me chat with Steve for a minute. Yep. Yep. How's it going, sir? Is it Sergeant Haynes? No, Corporal. Corporal Haynes. Oh, Corporal. Sorry, sorry. So, what's going on? I'm working on a story. Okay. And you're a reporter? I'm an investigative journalist. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What I tried to show, I think his name is Gerard, the the gentleman in the red sweater shirt right there okay what i was trying to show him is uh you know there's no restriction on access to this place really dude you call a fence uh and a gate no access i mean yeah look at that damn fence right there look at that gate that's open sure it's open right now but it's open for the convenience of the bus drivers you moron and not to mention, had you walked the fence line, you would have at least seen two no trespassing signs. I mean, I looked on Google Maps and went along the fence line and saw at least two of them without going all the way around the fence line. Maybe you should try that, you gibbering moron. Okay. So you're talking about with the like postings or yeah, I fence mean, being closed. I came over here, I got tips and leads that there were condition issues with some of the buses, okay. I'm assuming by parents. Okay. Uh, I didn't really inquire into their nature of relationships with sure. kids, but they basically said, hey, I've got concerns. There's some buses that got some real rust issues like on the floorboard and that kind of stuff. And they're gotcha. basically saying it's like kind of bouncy, cracking, that kind of stuff. Okay. So after I got several, I thought, yeah, I'll come here and check it out and, you know, see if that's really the case. And, you know, I mean, obviously it's there's signs that say, hey, we're, on, we're recording you. Well, fair enough. I mean, yeah. it's a government. Well, do not enter and... Well, that's a, but <laughs> that's a, that's a track. I get it. so you, but you want to see the buses is the idea, right? Yeah, and I, uh, you okay. know, I was in the midst of it. Probably only had about another fifteen minutes to gather content, and uh, Gerard there showed up and said, uh, you know, you can't be here. And I'm like, what's restricting access? It's a publicly available public space. Okay. So. Well, so 
I'll go talk to them. Um, is there still something you want to see with the buses? Or yeah, really, what I need to do, and it was I, you know, picked the time that I did to show up because a lot of the buses were coming in, so I'm standing off on a green kind of like you know, like off area, kind of like off to the side, you know, because I don't want to get hit by a bus. Okay. And basically, it was a good time to catch these buses coming in, the active buses in in work. You okay. know, seeing if these buses have condition issues. Conducted a brief interview with one of the employees that was washing one of the buses, you know, that kind of thing, just to see what's going on and see if really there's issues with kids uh, being put at jeopardy for poor condition buses, which is, I think, definitely newsworthy, uh, you know, journalism to, okay. to get to the bottom of. So, yeah, I mean, so look, just so you understand, I, I don't care if you want to see the buses or anything. I'm not here to limit any of that. It does have to be arranged with the school district if you want to see buses or get on buses or, or whatever. I'll go talk to them about that um, and see if that's something they can facilitate now or if you need to arrange for it later on. Many, many minutes later. Steve, can I get your information real quick? I can't do that to you. Yeah. Okay. So, um, I've got a phone number. I can jot it down for you, and that's how you arrange to see the buses. Um, let me grab a card. I do have I'll a question for you because it's really important about my next steps in, yeah. in my conducting my story for the day. So, are you saying I am trespassed from this location? No. What I'm telling you is that if you go back here, you will be trespassed. I'll be okay? arrested, and that can result in you being arrested. The, at, the public is not allowed without contacting the district to just come in and wander around the area where the buses are, where they could have students that are here for various reasons. The same as a school. If you walk into the school, you can go into the office. You can't just wander the hallways. And this is a school facility. So it's the same kind of thing. There's a gate that you can access their office here, but these people wouldn't schedule you to come do a news story or check up on that it's their community relations department that would and i have a phone number for them let me grab my card well hold on and I, that I'm way you've got it though still about something which is you're you're impeding my free press liberties right now no you're telling me there's no, something no. that instructs you as a police so officer that i can't be this here. what is this that? facility is not open for you to just wander through you How haven't you identified that? yourself you said that you're with the press nobody right. knows that okay so you, you haven't gone through any of the normal channels to contact the district, so you can't just wander through the property. Do what I'm want, asking do you, you want is, the what phone is instructing you me? as a police officer that I don't have the ability to be here? Answer my question. Law? Do you want that phone I'm, I'm not interested in that. What I'm interested okay. in knowing is, as a public servant, you're here to help me just like you are them, right? right. Is that this, true? This is not open to the public to wander How through. Do you, what is leading you to okay. conclude that? It, the same thing that would lead anybody to conclude that they're not allowed to just wander. Social norms aren't school, laws. Corporal school Haynes. social property. Social norms are not laws. Okay. It's if posted on the front. That Where? It's a, they just told me that it's posted. Go out there and you can take a look. Whoa! Hold on okay. a minute. Hold on so, a minute. So you're telling here's me, the Corporal Haynes, that inadequate signage at a lawful entrance point I'm not is prohibiting to, me. I'm not going to get into an argument with you. I'm just going to tell you. Okay, so what you're going to you do is you're going to impede my civil liberties just because you're choosing a side okay. and who gets application of the law and who so, doesn't. Uh, I'm just going to end it right here because this jackass will not walk around that fence line to see if there are any no trespassing signs or anything like that. That could have reminded him that there are certain places that are off limits to the general public, such as bus garages where there may be children uh, roaming about because, well, they are students and the students are a protected population in any state, you freaking moron, with statutes to back them up. And the real kicker here is that well, he tried to go to the police department after this and try to uh, get the trespassing uh, order rescinded but ended up failing. Of course, of course he did. Of course he tried. Because, well, he thinks he's above everybody else. That he thinks he can, uh, well, do what he wants when he wants because he's a First Amendment auditor. Oh, joy. One of those morons. So, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.
Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?